Hello guys, objective in this tutorial will be to create Python application that will constantly ask us about new values that we need to push into my SQL table. Right, so here's the thing, I want you guys to have ground zero, so same uh, situation as I have on my system, so I have deleted a previous table with two rows in it from previous tutorial, so right now I don't have any kind of table in my uh, database. Right, so let's use really briefly source code from our last tutorial. I'm gonna press F5 to create to create a Blanco situation. Right, so that's it and show tables. Here we are, we have totally empty people table. Right, what about at least one row that we can insert with Python and then we can, when we grasp that, then we will create a, a you know, script that will constantly ask us. Anyway, but that first thing need to be realized, that first very simple case. So what we are going to do here is I'm gonna delete this, I don't need it. And here I will not use describe people, I will say select all from people, which means that we must do something before that, right? So right here we are going to say insert into people specific uh, values in a specific order so what are we targeting first it will be id column and then name last name and telephone and uh, email and address i think in that order so we're going to go to next line we will say values and guys don't forget brackets they are very important values right so again brackets because that's like a border of where we're going to put real stuff so for id uh, that will be decided on a side of mysql server so when you say null it will be automatically incremented uh, by one you don't need to tinker about this okay what about the real values well uh, name will be slavoj and uh, use a comma of course uh, last name will be Zizek, Zizek, Mr. Zizek, and the telephone will be 555-888 or something like that. Right, mail, slavoj at Zizek dot that. Maybe that's real server, maybe not, I don't know, who cares. And address, right, uh, Slovenia, Slovenia. I, I think we are kind of cool, so let me check what's happening. Right, we can have three single quotes at the next line and hopefully if I didn't mess something up, this thing will work. Now, check this out. When I press F5, what's gonna happen is pretty uh, uh, much situation that we have some kind of report and you think that everything is fine, but when you do manual check with select all from people, I always type that P more, uh, we don't have anything. Well, why is that so? Well, the thing is, it is not enough to have only a SQL instruction, you also need to commit those changes. So yes, you do have operation, but now you need like aggress aggressively, physically push it into table. How we are going to do that? Well, the easiest thing is to just target uh, connection Actually, we must target connection, not cursor this time. So connection and we will say commit. Okay, commit. Don't forget appearances. And now the thing will work. But because already we have uh, one ID somewhere in a buffer in the server, uh, the next one will be ID 2. But it will be pushed in table. Right, let me confirm that with F5. And as I said, we have a report with ID 2, but also in a terminal, when we say select all, we do have that stuff in a real life, I mean in, in, in a table. Right, so how we are going to turn this script uh, in, a, in such a way that will constantly ask us about new values? Well, uh, for reference reasons, I'm gonna have this thing right here in a comment section. We actually don't need it anymore, but you know, just if uh, you don't, you forget the order of columns. Right, so we need to have some kind of explanation what's happening here. So we're gonna print to end user like uh, 
my SQL custom uh, 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 client like version 0. 0. 0.1 right a little bit of space and also we're gonna go to new line with slash n and after that we can print uh, this symbol for 79 times let's say just to have you know some kind of header right what about the real stuff okay so first we need to grab name we don't need id because it will be done automatically don't worry about that so name how we are going to call it it's totally up to you i'm gonna say key which means well at least for me from keyboard so key name equals input uh, name so now our end user know what to type what is expected right what about other things what about last name last name and explanation last last name uh, what about uh, what is now telephone telephone and explanation telephone okay and next thing will be email and email this is boring but need to be done because otherwise how end user will know what to type uh, what i was about address 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 okay what about sql command well sql equals let me think uh let's use double quotes here uh and we will say insert into actually to save time i'm gonna copy paste this uh like here okay and now interesting thing of course we are not hard coding anymore which means we will use like a string formatting to push things in a real SQL uh, command. How, how to do that? Well, we're gonna open these brackets and as I said, ID will be null, uh, null, so don't worry about that. What about name, last name and so on? Well, we're going to use these like empty places that will be fulfilled with real stuff. So let me just briefly uh, have couple of them and number of them need to correspond with number of columns we are targeting so one two three four five one two three four five right after that we are going to close that section with three double quotes and of course you probably know about format formats and now we will grab stuff from reality key name last name and so on again we need to spec a respect order here so key name and key keyboard uh, last name and from keyboard telephone telephone and from keyboard email and address key address okay and i think that's kind of cool so let me delete this i don't want to confuse myself and commit of course must exist in a try block of code so hopefully this will work so let me check what's happening okay so f5 and right at least we have something so name will be john last names uh, uh smith or whatever you like telephone 555 888 or i don't know 777 who cares email john at server whatever address main road one two three when i press enter what's gonna happen well it seems that we have a problem uh and if we check don't worry about it we will solve that in a split of a second and if we check what's happening with real stuff select all from people will yield us absolutely same stuff why is that so well here's the thing and a lot of people create errors here uh see these placeholders that will be fulfilled with uh, specific stuff from reality well they're not treated right now as a as a strings and in uh, this section we need to have strings which means that we just need to enclose placeholders in single quotes and now the thing will work okay f5 
uh, John and Smith and blah blah blah, blah. email John at John dot com and address uh, main road one two three hopefully when I press enter there you go guys we have results so now we need to check manually are we correct because it's always good to do that when you are developing uh, your stuff and there you go you have real stuff here but also in table and that is important most important thing right so some people will say well what about that id i mean do we need to use it all the time i mean why to type it well actually you're right you don't need to use it if you don't like it for some reason you can just delete it here and also delete it right here and the server will take over what is happening with I that id but as i said it depends how you like it okay f5 blah blah and one on one blah 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 and blah at blah and address will be of course blah one two three there you go we have it let's check it manually here and we need to have that thing at id4 okay we have the reality that's cool right what about a script that will constantly ask us about new things so let me let me see what i'm gonna do uh right okay here we will have beginning of while loop so while true and we need to push all these things for one level to right so i'm gonna just see from where to where well pretty much up till here so okay and here we need to have a way to get out from script so quit or no i cannot use that so qui equals uh input uh enter quit enter quit to get out or to break something like that okay and now we need to check it now this question need to be uh before everything else because there is no purpose to have it after you are done so you must have that like check right so if q equals quit we will just break from the script and everything else guys will pretty much remain same here right i think i'm kind of cool I mean, this is cool. I'm not cool. I don't know. Anyway, it depends how you think. Uh, F5, F5, right? Enter quit to break. And now, well, quit. Let's just test that. Okay, we are out. And uh, I mean, before that, we can actually print that we are out. So print script to error mean TED script terminated. F5 right enter quit and at least we have script terminated as custom report or information so what about insertion will that work now uh enter quit to break no or we can just press enter and we are in so name will be john or michael how to say this michael blah and some number and blah again and it's really not important address is a blah one two three and when i press enter here we are i have uh, this line in my table okay so let me actually check that manually is that the case select all from people and here we are i have that thing and at number six and a couple of seconds ago i was practicing with number five you you don't see this in this video because i created some error but i have corrected it so right now everything is fine with id6 and every time when you uh use it oops what i just did here i blocked this right anyway uh, every time when you go to next line you can enter new stuff so let me confirm that like that and now i need to uh, have this on line seven 
Okay, I think, yeah, yeah, that's it. So quit and skip terminated and a manual check. But where is my terminal? Uh, just a second. Uh, what's happening? Oops, I don't know. MySQL. I need to log in again to manually check stuff. So use corp and uh, select select all from people okay we have line seven that's it guys in this tutorial and again i'm pressing x for some reason maybe because i'm too stupid but anyway the script will work so you can archive it use it whatever you like and in the next uh, tutorial what we are going to do well, we can create a script that will first manually delete specific things and then it will ask us what needs to be removed. Okay, uh, as always, thank you for watching and uh, see you next tutorial.